Man, y'all know how I do. Y'all know how I do. I'm on that bullshit again. And, and right now, we have a real special guest in the building. Now, when you talk about accomplishments, world championships, Pan American Games, 2012 London gold medalist, 2016 Rio de Janeiro, Rio de Janeiro gold medalist. We're talking about two-time division champion. We have on the line the 160-pound undisputed world champion in Clarissa T. Rex Seals. Clarissa, what's popping? Hey, what's going on, man? Hey, I appreciate you coming on my show. I really do to have, you know, a person with your stature and all the accomplishments you got coming on our TBA. We salute you 100% for that. I appreciate that. No problem. So, Clarissa Shields, in just a short time in your career, you're on top of the world. Tell me how that feel. Um, I feel like everything kind of came pretty fast, but I'm happy with my career. I make a lot of money now. Um, I'm fighting on TV. And I'm just keeping, you know, keep making history. And that's one thing I, I, I look at you as, as a, as, a, as a woman fighter, because, like, when I made my post and said women boxing wasn't popping like that, you know, I, I didn't mean it necessarily like that. What I meant was you were the golden ticket in the future to propel women boxing to make it bigger forever. What you're doing right now is unprecedented that no one have ever seen. Right. So when I said, you know, that I just meant that you were the golden ticket to women's uh, boxing in the future. So what I wanted to talk to you about, because, you know, we had our little discussion and you said what you had to say uh, to me. So I want to talk about the business side in boxing yeah. uh, for women and for men. Why don't you yeah. feel, Clarissa, that it has gotten to that certain level yet to where you're getting paid the same amount as these guys with the type of name that you have in boxing? Um, well, I look at it as I only have nine fights. And even though I've taken the best challenges and beat the best girls, women's boxing is so far behind. I mean, me and Christina Hammer was the first super fight women's boxing has ever had. You know, two undefeated fighters in their prime, both holding belts, you know, fighting for an undisputed title. And when you, when you don't have those kind of fights, it's kind of, uh, it's like the fans fight like they're getting cheated almost, right? And, mm -hmm. you know, in women's boxing, we never had Layla Ali versus uh, Ann Wolf. We never had Christy Martin versus Lucia Riker. So, right now, when I turn pro, people didn't really take women's boxing serious just yet. But me having two Olympic gold medals and me actually backing up what I say, I've been able to... Um, you know, change some things and fight on TV and get more money and then make more demand. And uh, I'm just really a supporter of the sport. You know, I'm not one of the women who don't really talk, who quiet. You just got to really change the narrative of what a female boxer is. Like, we talk shit. <laughs> I mean, we, we love fighting. We train hard. I spar against the men. You know, this is not stuff that happened back in the day. This is new stuff that they're just not finding out. So now that they know, now the respect is coming with it and the fans and the viewership and everything like that. But we still got a long way to go. And yet, and what, what I'm saying, with you being just 24 years of age, I mean, the things that you're doing right now, it's some man out here who box, you know, who wish that they could be on the level that you're at. Like, when you're a having showtime and you're the main fight and you just have your city in Flint, Michigan uh, and all around the, the surrounding area of Michigan and the other areas to show up and show out for you. It ain't, you ain't just, yeah, you are a woman boxer, but you ain't just a woman boxer. You a name in boxing now. Absolutely. I agree. I think I should be on a pound pound list. Top I mean, 10. with your accomplishments in such a short time, you know, it ain't no debate about that. So my thing with you is, how do we continue to make women boxing grow? If you say Christina Hammer uh, was the biggest name out there for you, uh, one thing that you are doing, you're going down to 154 pounds mm -hmm. to your third weight division uh, to go challenge for a title against Ivana. I'm, I can't say her last name. I don't yeah. Um, you know, with that, I, I'm just going to continue being great. I think people 
look at my success and they feel like, oh, you know, how is she winning all these fights or am I getting lucky? People need to just accept the fact that I'm a once in a century kind of athlete. Like, there's not going to be another woman fighter to come around who can do the thing that I do in a time that I've done it till, till a very long time. I'll be long gone once this happened again. You know, what I'm doing right now. And I'm only 24. And I'm boxing for another six to eight years. I want to continue to break more barriers. So when people say, you know, who are you going to fight? I'm just going to fight whoever becomes ranked number one for any of my titles. You know, or whoever the girl is at the best at the time. If I can make the weight. Right now, I feel like 154 is the lowest weight that I can go. But I can fight all the way up to 175. So if it's a girl who come around and she knocking girls out like Ann Wolf was, and she's in my weight class, I'm going to be the one to call her out to fight her. <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> like that, with, just me. so with you being an African-American woman, and with yeah. you, you know, talking the way you talk, and, and you back it up every time, uh, we had a fighter, um, a Caucasian fighter, and Ronda Rousey, who did mm -hmm. the same thing, um, where people praised Ronda Rousey and, and the way she trash talked, but a very critical of you. Do, do you see the difference in that? And you're way more accomplished than Ronda Rousey ever was and ever will be? And you know, that's the MMA fans, because I have my fans who go crazy whenever I talk trash, you know? I get so many views and so many DMs just about like, yo, at the press conference you said this or, you know, about my trash talking skills and uh, people do embrace it. You know, I just think that they looked at it different with Ronda Rousey. I, I wouldn't say just like just because she white. I would say because of she's an MMA also, right? Mm -hmm. And they built that narrative around her, right? And they made it okay for her to say things she was saying. And I'm not saying, you know, just a trash talk. But I'm saying, you know, saying she could beat Floyd. Mm -hmm. And she can knock out Mike Tyson. To me, that stuff is obnoxious. Like, if you would say you can knock out a guy who was either your weight class or somewhere near. Or maybe even a lower class boxer. But not Floyd. Not heavyweight Mike Tyson. You know, and but people try to come down on me for me saying, you know, I could give a old Triple G, he's what, 40 now, mm -hmm. a run for his money, right? When technically I can, or they look at me saying, oh, I could be Keith Thurman. I'm a woman who walks around at 175 pounds. I could bench 100 and what, uh, 65, 50. And then at that, like, I'm, I'm bigger and taller than him. And with my amateur experience, right? But it's just crazy that I said I could be Keith Thurman. Why? And I, I'm not going to say it's because I'm black. I, I, I don't really know why. I think it's more of just being a woman. And, and, and they're used to women trash talking in MMA. And I guess uh, not so much in boxing because when you think about a woman who talked a whole lot of trash in boxing, I'm more than sure I'm the first person that come to mind. Like, even though I got all my accomplishments, when you be like, man, a girl talking shit in boxing, Everybody be like, yeah, clear the shoes. Nobody else comes to mind, I don't think. And one thing I want to do, Mr. Al TBA, I want to apologize to everybody on her from the two one photo across the pond. I definitely apologize to Clarissa Shields on that April night when she went in there and destroyed Christina Hammer. Yeah. Look, Clarissa, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not Nostradamus. <laughs> I'm not Nostradamus, but what I can say is I'm big enough to apologize, and I can say what you have did in your amateur career and up to now and, and your steady rising, I can say I've never seen any woman on the planet do it like you. And when you call yourself the quote, like Muhammad Ali said, it ain't that you arrogant, it's just that you confident in yourself. And right. the numbers, everything you did, since you were little to you being a grown 24-year-old woman right now, it speaks for itself. Now, but when you say that quote, you know, now, Clarissa, you understand. When, yeah. If you talk shit, if you give it, you should be able to take it, right? Mm -hmm. So of with course, you being on one. a platform out there and you give it the way you do, the way you talk shit, you have to understand you being at the top of your profession, criticism is going to come back your way. Right. So what do you think about the criticism that come back your way? Do you think it's think, unfair? Do you think it's a little excessive since you are a woman in sports and they look at it a little different? 
Look, it comes with the territory. I mean, I'm not a person to say that I like it. I don't like people, you know, try to say mean stuff to me or try to, you know, demoralize my uh, my uh, character because, oh, I'm a woman fighter and I talk like this and I need to be a lady and all this bull crap. It comes through the, with the territory. But what I don't like is when people try to say, like, you know, I should be in the kitchen cooking. Or they say stuff like, you know, uh, nobody watches women's boxing. This is something that I take personally because it's more of like people do watch women's boxing. 420K viewers on my fights. And, you know, and now I'm making 300K for my fights. So for people to say I ain't got no fans, how come the check keeps getting bigger then? I mean, I, mean, just I just want to wanna know, like, how come the check keeps getting bigger if I ain't got no fans? I got fans. My brand is growing. People want to hear me talk shit, and they want to see me back it up. So it comes with territory. I just think that, you know, some men are really in, like, they're intimidated by a great woman athlete. And I look at Serena Williams and how much, you know, people came at her just about how she looked. Like, she's a phenomenal tennis player. I mean, she got the biggest butt any woman would want to have. I mean, it's, it, it's natural. And they try to talk about her and say, oh, she looks too strong or her butt's too big or her breast. But this girl can move. She's a heavyweight moving like she's a freaking lightweight on a, up on a tennis court. So seeing her go through what she went through and what I'm going through right now with people trying to body shame me and try to call me fat and call me muscular, I'm happy I, I got to see it, see Serena deal with it. But it doesn't make it any easier for me to deal with it. I just try to be like, you know what, just – uh you know, um, mute it out and just keep doing what I'm doing. Uh, and, and what I would say to that is just that, like you spoke on Serena Williams. Now, you Clarissa Shields. I think yeah. Serena Williams had her time and she still is in tennis. You are the, in my opinion, the face of the new generation. You taking that lead role uh, for women in, in sports. And, and, and when you say you're doing 400K views and you're getting paid, this is a type of a money, you know, that, that shows everybody around the world that you are the one and you know people going to come at you real aggressive and real tough because you on top. You know, like I said, right. two-time gold medalist, undisputed middleweight champion. You know, you did what th hundreds of thousands of boxers, whether you're a woman or a man, dreamed that they could do. So, but... Um, with you doing this all in such a short time in your career and you being able to handle all this, that just show where you at in boxing. And I understand sometimes it get a little uh, uh, frustrating, but, you know, when you're the creme de la creme, and when I look at you, Clarissa, I look at you as the creme de la creme of women boxing, it come with the territory. But let me ask you something, because I think right now on the phone, we have one of the greatest boxing minds in boxing period. I talked about her accomplishments. Now I want to ask you about certain fights that's coming up. Okay, what, okay. let's go. Ahead. What's your thoughts on Sean Porter versus Earl Spence? I got I got Earl Spence for that fight. Uh, I think that Sean Porter, you know, he he got like a rough style and then sometimes he want to block. I think that Earl Spence is a more controlled and just better fighter overall, I think. What about Anthony Joshua and uh, Ruiz rematch? Um, it, it looks like AJ may get the W because to me, he may have won the first fight, but it's like he's getting complacent and he won a large amount of money and, you know, he's talking about, oh, the fight should be here and the fight should be there. And AJ just is in a gym, like, training. Like, I think a loss changed people. And I know that it definitely changed me in the amateurs. And just to see some of his snaps and stuff now and some of the stuff he's been saying, you can see, like, now, Mr. Humble is pissed off now. <laughs> he ain't taking no shit from nobody. And that's a, and, and to me, I'm like, yes, I've been waiting to see this AJ. So now that this AJ is here, we definitely going to see that kind of attitude when he fight. Okay, now, before um, we get off this call, we have to talk about, you know, you coming, bringing it back to Flint, Michigan, correct? October yeah. the 5th. Uh, you versus Ivana. I can't pronounce her last name. I don't want to. Habazin. Okay, so tell me about that fight and tell me a little bit about her because tell me, were you frustrated with her coach the way he was nitpicking at you like that? Did that frustrate oh, no. you a little bit? 
I think her coach is more mad at me. <laughs> because I don't I don't care if it's female, male, grown man, old man, woman, you come talk shit to me. I definitely know how to hit you where it hurts at. So um once I seen how he was just, you know, super emotional and was all, you know, oh, this is the uh, Ivana and Curse the Shield show, whatever stuff he was saying. I could just tell like anything I said directly to him was going was was going to piss him off. And I had whispered to my coach John, and I'm like, hey, I'm like, listen, you know, uh, get ready because I'm about to piss him off. <laughs> and he was like, he was like, all right, <laughs> I got your back. So once he got off the mic and I got on the mic, I just tore them both up, Ivana and him, and I had a good time doing it. But I wasn't frustrated at all. Ivana, he did. Um. I'm just so excited to be fighting back at home. I feel like this fight is a stepping stone for me. I'll be a three division world champion um, I, um, October 5th in Flint, Michigan. And I'll be fighting again Saturday night, main event on Showtime. And just, man, like the numbers keep going up with everything. The viewership is going up. The money keeps going up. The history keeps going up. And I just want to prove that if, for, for those who think that I'm not the greatest woman of all time, I'm going to keep doing stuff to where they be like, they're going to question themselves. Like, even though, you know, she talked about the trash, but she can box, you know, she can fight. So I'm just going to keep doing that. But I'm just super excited to be fighting at 154, especially after my injury and everything. I'm just ready to get in there and, you know, beat somebody up. And I'm sold. I'm sorry. I'm sold. Like I say, the performance you put on against Christina Hammer, I'm sold. Listen, Clarissa, I'm sorry. I apologize. Please. I cannot believe you thought she was going to beat me. That's crazy. No, the, look, and I, I can't believe it either. It's like I, I walked out the house and slipped and bumped my fucking head on the rock or something for me to even fathom to think she was going to beat you. But look, I apologize. I just, you know. Your, your fight before that, you know. But hey, that, that just lets me know I, I'm not wait, Nostradamus. Which fight before? Um, Against the, she was the 40 year old woman with the braids. I, I fought, fought her in my like fourth, fifth fight. Well, I know it was just previous fights before. But but like I said. But, I but, was, but hold on now, wait. So, <laughs> did you see him fight against that same 40 year old, right? Yes. It's it's just when better. I looked at when I was watching you fight, it seemed like you look, that last fight, you you woke up and you pissed excellence in that fight. But when I was watching you in previous fights, it seemed like you, you were rushing a, a little bit. But like I say, you know way more about boxing than I do. But that Christina yeah, so Hammer now we gotta think about I'm only nine fights in, Mr. I O T D A. I, I know, but it's Nine, like you. But so I, you look at me fight. This is my fifth fight, my fourth fight. I just came out the amateurs. But we got the point system now. Everybody expects me to get knockouts when I'm used to just running up the points. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I got to make my adjustments and learn how to go to the body without getting head butted, you know, without getting elbowed and cut. It's a, it's a different game from being an amateur to a pro. Like, they got to give me the time to, you know, get my shit together. <laughs> hey. To the from this day until the day you quit boxing, you taught me a lesson. I will never go against the grain on Clarissa Seals again. And My Clarissa, man. I rip man, I really appreciate you. You know, like because you didn't have to do this. Like I want y'all to know, she didn't have to do this. But they just show you, like, and it showed me the gracious uh, champ that she is, and you know, just her mentality. And I'm going to ride with her 100%. Like I say, she didn't have to come on her, but she took out the time from her day because, oh, yeah, hold up. Before we go, Clarissa, can we clarify something? Because I don't know What's if up? you know how I do. I was scrolling up my articles and shit, and, and, and I seen a video with you saying that you're going to be in a video game. You're going to be able to wear your blue hair. Can we elaborate on that or... Yeah, so it's going to be wrong. So I made an accent and said Fight Night 4, but I was completely wrong. I said the wrong thing. The video is round for round boxing game. They reached out to me, and, and they sent me the pictures, that, the pictures that they have of Andy Ruiz, and they said, Champ, we would love to have you in our video game. 
And so me, you know, being a woman, I don't really play video games. My first thought was Fight Night 4, <laughs> right? But it's round for round boxing game. It's just as good as Fight Night. Um, I am going to have my blue hair. And we're in um, the negotiation with them right now, actually. So once everything gets squared away, then I can, you know, they're going to release it and all this other stuff. But right now, we're just getting the paperwork filled out and everything like that. But look, everybody, Clarissa Shields, you know, what she's doing right now in boxing is unprecedented. If you living in the age I'm living in now, this is something we never seen in women boxing. Did Layla Ali have a big name? Absolutely. But she didn't yep. have a big name as far as doing what Clarissa Shields is doing. We're taking it above and beyond. That's why I say she is the golden ticket. She is the new generation of a woman, like a black woman like Serena Williams was and leading into the future. And um, we we humble <laughs> tonight. Like, just like I was humbled in April, I'm humble <laughs> tonight. And I will never go against you again. I apologize. I'm going to keep on saying that, Chris. I'm sorry. <laughs> and shout out to Flint, Michigan. You know, she putting yep. on for her city. She putting on for the entire state because, and not just that, she putting on for everybody from Flint, Michigan to around the world because Clarissa is global. She just not in no box to Flint, Michigan or the United States. You know, like I said, she done won world champions, Pan American Games, and she a two-time gold medalist. Now she's the undisputed um, champion at 160, uh, going for her third weight division at 154. Before I let you go, you want to give any shout-outs, Clarissa? Um, just shout-out to Demetri Salida, my promoter, Salida Promotions. Shout-out to Showtime. Shout out to my city, Flint, Michigan. I love y'all. Shout out to all my boxing fans, you know, who be on there arguing up online for me. I really appreciate y'all because I really can't cuss online, but I love that y'all cuss on people who cuss me out. <laughs> so uh, just shout out to and, uh, to all my haters. Uh, fuck y'all. Keep doing what y'all do. And go and, go and get some money. <laughs> and, and, and hopefully, Clarissa, um, not immediately after your October fight, because I know you have to have your vacation and, and relax and, and do what you do. I see you got that Corvette that you said you was going to get. I see you. Oh, they but, so mad about that. Oh, my. They like, how she afford that? My boxing check. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 Facts. I hope we can get you on uh, after your fight, not immediately, because I know you need relaxation time with your family and friends. But, you know, a few months after that, I, I would like to get you back on to discuss a little bit more boxing and talk about you and – what you got going next. Thank you. Of for course, my man. Of course. Clarissa Shields, undisputed, 160 pound middleweight champion. Y'all know how I do. I'm Mr. Dos Uno Cuatro. I'm on that bullshit again. <laughs>